Hey guys, thanks for joining us this month. We're going to be doing a two-part review. We're going to take a look at the new Rezo 7 drum heads by Evans and the Select Balance Promark drumsticks. Let's go ahead and start off and talk a little bit about the Rezo 7 drum heads. These are a resident head, as you can tell by the name. They're a single-ply, 7 mil thick film that's coated. They're available in sizes 6 to 18 inch. These heads are designed to help take care of unwanted overtones without needing any additional muffling on your batter side or your resonant side of your drum. I went ahead and used these. I paired them up with a single ply G14 head from Evans on my batter side, tuned up my drums, played them a little bit, tweaked them just a hair, just a little bit, and they really performed well. I never use a single ply batter head, but the combination with these resonant heads was perfect. I'm using them on maple drums, sizes 10, 12, 14, and 16 toms. And even my 16 inch tom, floor tom, with these with these resonant heads and this uh, combination of the G14 top head really didn't get any crazy overtones like I was expecting. Especially from a single ply batter head, they're usually a brighter, uh, longer sustained head. But this combination, the Rezo 7s performed really well. They took a lot of that overtone and just shortened the sustain so the drums had a really nice beautiful pitch bend and fall, which is how I prefer my drums. So, in my opinion, they performed well, they did their job, they're a great product. I'm going to start using them all the time now, again, with the combination of the G14 batter head. I really, really like the way they sound together. It was just a great combination between the two. Again, drum, pitch, bend, fall, nice short sustain, but a very clean, clear, focused tone. So, if you're in the market for some new, you know, resonant heads... I'd give these a go. They're available again in sizes 6 through 18. They only come in a coated finish, which I'm, which I'm imagining is why they help control the overtones so well. That coating probably helps with any anti, with any extra vibration that the head normally gets, say with the clear resonant head. So if you're looking for new resonant heads, I would give these a go, especially if you prefer single ply batter heads. I haven't used them with the double ply, so they could sound really well with that. I'm not sure. I used them again with the G14 batters, and they sang beautifully. Wasn't too bright. I don't like super bright toms. They they were nice and punchy, focused, clean, clear, pitch bend and fall. Again, the Rezo 7s. I highly recommend them. They did their job well. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit now about the Promark Select Balance Drumsticks. These have been out for a couple years now, so I'm sure if you're a Promark guy, you've probably tried them or at least know of them. If you haven't, uh, here's my thought on them. Promark has done something a little bit different than they normally do. They've even changed the way these sticks are labeled, but they come in five different sizes, ranging from a 7A to a 5B, I believe. And the way they're, they're marked as far as size-wise, they don't come in, say, a 5B or a 5A, 7A, whatnot. It's a combination of letters and numbers, and the first... And the combination will be two letters, and it will be FB or an RB. Now, what those letters stand for are forward balance or select balance. Next, in the combination of letters and numbers, will be a letter for your wood type. So an H would be hickory, and so on. Next will be a combination of three numbers. Now, those three numbers will determine the diameter of the stick. I believe they range from a 535 diameter to a 595, and a few sizes in between. After that will be another letter. T would be for tear-shaped uh, style of tip. Next letter would be a W. That would mean a wood tip instead of a nylon tip. Now going back to the RB and FB, that's the main feature of these drumsticks. That's the select balance. So say you like a fatter stick, so you go with the 595. And you like a heavy stick, and that's part of the reason why you use that size. You would probably want to use the forward balance. The forward balance sticks have a little more weight towards the front, and that's due to the way the, sh the stick is shaped from the tip to the actual main body of the stick, the taper. The forward balances have a two and a quarter inch taper, so they have more meat to the stick, especially at the front end of the stick. Now the rebound balance sticks have a three inch taper, meaning the taper is longer, so they take a little bit of that weight out of the stick. Now, when I first got these, I was thinking, okay, this is probably a gimmick. I ain't going to be the 
I ain't going to be able to tell the difference between a forward balance or a rebound balance. Well, I had several, I think I have every size from the 535s all the way up to the 595s. And each model, the forward balance and the rebound balance, and I've been using them. I gave out a couple pair of the uh, other sizes to some other drummers. I told them, try each one, play with the forward balance for a while, swap to the rebound. Let me know if you can feel a difference. As for myself, I could notice the difference immediately. I was very surprised, very pleased. The way I play, I do a lot of rim shots, so I'm always using a 5B. Mainly a 5B is my stick of choice because of the diameter, the fatness of the stick, and where I break my sticks is always dead center due to rim shots. So the sticks are always somewhat heavy. So this was kind of a cool feature for me to use the rebound balance, the same diameter, the same fill around my hand, but it was lighter, so I could get a little bit more speed. I noticed a little, a, a, a lot more uh, articulation, especially with my cymbals and whatnot. It was a great thing to try. I really like the options, and it isn't a gimmick. I fully believe, you know, after trying them, trying several pairs, several models, again, in the forward and the rebalance, rebound balance models, there is a difference. So... If you want to try something different, I recommend you try whatever your favorite size is, whether it be like a 7A, that would be the 535s, or the 5B, which would be a 595, or in between those sizes. They have three other sizes, I believe. I believe there's a total of five. So whatever you like, I recommend, if you want to try these, try one pair of forward balance, one pair of rebound balance, and see what you think. I, I loved them. Great product. Like I said, it was more than just a gimmick. I think these range depending on where you buy them from, you know, anywhere from $7 on up, depending on your retailer. So again, guys, that's this month's review. I hope you liked it. Check back next month. Next month we will be covering Zion symbols. So keep on drumming, guys. Till next time.